This is Samuel F. Robinson here on Embracing AI the Lifestyle. I'm here with Reverend Dr. Manuel A. Howard. This conversation is going to be important to you because you're the business owner, you're doing over 150,000 a year, and you're looking to replace or even scale your income because you're now realizing that the older you get, the less you're able to do. And eventually you'll realize that unless you have income that can outlive and outlast you, your time is limited. Mm. So he's going to be asking me some questions and I'm eager to help answer those questions because I believe that you're also asking those same questions. Yes, absolutely. Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Howard again, your boy here with Samuel F. Robinson. And we're dealing with, you know, how do you go from 150 to maybe, you know, 150,000, maybe for you, it's 500,000, maybe it's a million, but, you know, maybe it's much, much more than that. But you want to be making money while you're sleeping and not just having to get up every day, whether you have COVID, you know, whether you have broken bones, whether you are sick and knowing that you can't go to work and you still will not lose money. Can you, you know, as a, as a business advisor, can you advise us, uh, the individual regarding how do we get there? All right. So there is going to be different for everybody. So I'll focus on where we are now. Mm -hmm. We have the elections coming up. If you're watching this in the next few days, if you're watching this 10 years from now, the time is uncertain. You don't know when you're going to die and you don't know how long you're going to live. What you do know is that today you have the mental acuity and the mental ability to make a decision, not just mm -hmm. a choice. You're probably asking what's the difference. So a choice is when you have options. A decision is when you've cut off all options and that's the direction you're going in. Mm. You have, whether you're a business owner or you have a corporate job, you're an executive in a company, the income you have now, you're only earning on one level. So let me explain the levels. Mm. We earn money on four different levels. At the lowest level, and let me preface that with all the levels are equally important, but all the levels are not valued the same amount. So at the constructor, constructor level, this is where you are trading time for money. Even if you have a salary, all they did was bulk it together so that they can overwork you and pay you the same. Mm -hmm. Then you have the level that allows you to manage peoples and systems. We call this the collaboration level. You get paid more than the constructor, but less than the communicator. This level is necessary because you're putting all the people together to produce a service or a product. The next level above that is a communicator level. In communication, you are the one conveying the idea to whether it's the C-suite or whether you are working on the floor as mm -hmm. a as a salesperson, you are bringing that vision and making it tangible so that the person who perceived the value for what you're communicating about is willing to part with their money. This is a sales level. Mm -hmm. At the creation level, the creator creates. They look at a problem and they dream of a solution and they create. Mm -hmm. They might be proficient at a particular process and so now they ideate new ways to solve that challenge or that problem or that pain point. This person gets paid the most because without them, these chairs wouldn't be created. So they create from ideas. There's some who don't understand the value of their idea and they sell themselves short. These are the type of people that they sit around and they just tell anybody who wants to listen about their solution. Somebody, mm -hmm. the communicator, is going to take that information and monetize it. Wow. And forget to pay you. Wow, wow. So those are the four levels. The question is, where do we start? We start by awareness. Mm -hmm. Who am I? Who am I responsible for? And what assets do I have? 
we need to first take inventory know where you are great at and know where you're not mm -hmm. once you are aware now you can go to the next level you acquire knowledge mm -hmm. this is where if you know you need to produce a certain amount of money in order to maintain a certain amount of lifestyle or you know that in order to protect your family your family needs to have this amount of money coming in even if you're no longer around you need to have that knowledge of what that is now you need to put into practice the activities that's going to move you closer to your desired end state for some you may need to get a bigger insurance policy mm. that if something happens to you your family can survive the next 10 years they have choices mm -hmm. for others you may need to create a digital product that outlives you and you put that product to work this is where you put a suit and tie your money you send it out to work and it's supposed to come back with babies <laughs> that's good hey I have a, a question say I'm uh, at the first level you know and, and I'm just at that level as contractor how do you move levels do you need to acquire other skill sets do you need to acquire relationships and partnerships or or what because we could be in school forever learning everything and may never get to the place where we want to go because we're preparing so much trying to get these skills at each level, but maybe that's not our area of giftedness. Can you shed light? So whether you're just starting out and say you're 16 years old mm -hmm. and uh, you're about to go get your first job, it's not really how you make the money. Of course, you got to do it legally. When you make the money, it's very important of how you show respect to the money. Money is currency. Currency means that it's flowing. If you have a unhealthy relationship with money it runs from you these are the individuals it doesn't matter how much you're getting paid you're always broke hmm. the money comes in and you're a consumer so the first thing you think of doing is to consume I need the latest shoes oh I gotta go to this party hmm. I need the latest outfit oh I love to eat I gotta eat at the best restaurants nothing else will do forget the healthy ones they skip the healthy ones to go to the unhealthy yeah. ones because it brings more pleasure hmm. here's a challenge develop a healthy relationship with money that's good you need to learn how money works even if you're making minimum wage and your expenses out out do your income it didn't start there but if that's where it is as you learn about money you can correct it mm -hmm. learn to respect the currency there are certain principles that everybody needs to follow no matter what your belief level is mm. you have two types of relationships you have vertical relationship you have horizontal relationship if your vertical relationship with your creator is out of line so is your money mm. when you choose to risk when you choose to demonstrate respect for your vertical relationship it makes it easier for you to show and demonstrate respect for your horizontal relationships until your vertical relationship is at the center of your life then everything else is out of alignment mm. yeah and as they say follow the money to determine exactly if your vertical relationship is at the center or it's just a part of mm -hmm. so my advice to you is learn how money works learn interests in the Jewish community as I was being mm -hmm. taught by the Jews it wasn't the amount of money that we were more concerned about is mm -hmm. the interest rate mm -hmm. I once witness a fight almost breaking out in the bank over a quarter percent difference in the interest mm. rate and he was willing to pull all his money out if he couldn't get a quarter, quarter. percent wow. more wow. on the interest interest is important don't let anybody fool you it's not how much money you make it's how much interest your money makes seven hundred dollars is a lot different mm. from seven hundred percent so yeah. if I'm going to give you an extra lump sum of money, the concern is going to be not the lump sum, is how much interest can I make on that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So if I'm getting paid minimum wage, where can I put a little bit so that it can make interest? interest. Mm. Because that interest will grow over time. There was this old lady at the church. She didn't make much. She didn't have much. Mm. And whatever she had, she gave a little of it. When she passed, the church got a lump sum donation that brought the pastor to tears. Mm. How could this little old lady retire so you know the income mm. was fixed? amass enough money to donate to the church in her passing that made such a powerful impact. Mm. Her name will for always be remembered because of her impact. And it yeah. wasn't the dollar amount, it was the relationship. Yes. So as you're working, learn money, mm -hmm. learn interest. That's the start. As far as what to do outside of that, you have skills. Mm. You have untapped skills. Guess what? The things you don't think are important mm -hmm. because you know it so well, somebody else does not know it that well, mm -hmm. and they're searching for someone like you to pay you to give them that knowledge. Wow. Yeah. Every dollar that you want and don't have is currently in the hands of someone else. They are searching for you. You have mm -hmm. a responsibility to yeah. make yourself yeah. visible so that they can get what you have locked up that you know so well about mm. and they will gladly part with that dollar here's one thing that i've always learned before you were born everything that you want to need was already created for you mm. yeah but yeah. it's not going to float to you you have to go out take position have dominion yes. put it under your yes. feet manage it because you are the steward of your knowledge keep learning keep reading books if the people around you don't light up when you enter the room, mm. you're in the wrong room. Wow. And that's what I would say for somebody just starting out. You said a whole lot there, Samuel. <laughs> you, mind blown, right? Yeah. But this information that you're giving, this education, can change your life. The education about money you know, learning the vertical and the horizontal relationship is powerful, you know, and that money flows, currency, you know, these are tools, these are things that will equip you to be a game changer, you know, in, in every area of your life, you know, not just in your business, but in your business and your family. True. Wow. wow. Thank you. That's right. awesome. I, I hope I didn't go and confuse everybody. <laughs> No, you were right on. And um, those levels, you know, when we think about the four levels, I don't think most people don't think about the four levels. Most people don't understand the four levels. And the reality, when I think about it, most people don't understand money. That's true. And that's a challenge. Because those who are wealthy will stay wealthy. And those who are broke will always be broke. And it's not because they don't want to change. They're unaware of the change, yeah. the possibility to earn more. I spoke to someone today and I asked, in my mind, I can see him producing an extra million dollars a year because of the information that I know. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem, it's called the curse of knowledge. Mm -hmm. I are automatically imputed my knowledge onto him and I'm speaking to him as if he already knows mm. and he had no clue mm. where I have personally produced over a hundred thousand dollars in a month he's happy if he can produce fifty thousand dollars in a year mm. it's a different conversation now I have to have with him mm. so my first question to him after realizing that there is, I asked him the question, how much money do you want to make? And I specifically said annually. Mm. At that rate, at that level, at the muscular level, you're trading your blood, sweat, and tears for money. He's mm. thinking hourly. He can only answer me out of the level of his understanding. Mm. Mm. Now I've got to bridge the gap. Yeah. So I multiply. So that's times 12. He said, 48. 
I said, yes, 48. He said, can we round it to 50? Because mm. before he was just thinking 3,000 a month. Now that we're looking at it from an annual basis, yeah, can we just round it? How can you help me to make 50,000 mm. a year? In my mind, I'm thinking, you need to be making that per month. Mm -hmm. But the mind isn't there. How different is it or how difficult is it for you to just change years into months? How difficult is it for you to change months into weeks? Mm. Same 50,000, same amount of effort. How difficult is it for you mm. to make your annual income in a day? Mm. If you can conceive it at the creation level, you don't have to worry about the how. You just have to worry about the purpose for which you want to do it. If you don't have a good purpose, the how is going to be very difficult. Mm. It won't last. Wow, you just blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do, but you, I think you did it, Samuel. I think you did it in your mind. Um, but valuable, game-changing information that will not only change your life, but will change the life of those around you. Man. There is an individual that I've been, Frank Kern, to be more specific, came onto an epiphany. If I can get it to you for free, then you will choose to pay me the fee. Mm. When you're sharing knowledge, and we're in the information age, anything you want to learn, you can Google, you can YouTube. We call it YouTube University on Wills. You listen, mm. um, podcasts. There is an abundance of information for what you want to learn. Here's the problem. It's also mixed in with bad information you don't want to learn. Yes. How long is it going to take you to sift through the bad information, get the good information, and then take time to learn it? Would it be much easier to find a business advisor that can guide you? So where you mm -hmm. can get it for free when you pay for it, Mm -hmm. You get it narrowed down, compressed, and delivered in a bite-sized capsule called mm. FAST. Mm. That's good. Free, always, free is always at the mercy of FAST. Mm. Do you have the time to wait, mm. or do you want it faster? We live in a microwave society. Yes. I remember yes. kids standing in front of the microwave saying, hurry up. Well, I'm, I'm accustomed to having a slow cooker. Four hours, the rice is ready. These kids are like, listen... <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> want it now. Want they want it now. it now. And it's half baked. It's now neutral. It's now yeah. nuked. So it's not even the same uh, product that went in. Mm. Yeah. But it's on the internet and it's free and it's ready and it's digestible. So I had somebody say to me recently, I said, I, I, and this was an executive and she's asking me, so how can I, uh, how can I make money with my knowledge? And I said, I can tell you, but I'll have to charge you. And she, she responded, I'll just Google it. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. And I was saying, yes, you can. You can go free or you can go fast. Mm, mm, so good. somebody has already gone that's through good. and paid for everything, and now they're willing to share that knowledge with you. And you prefer to go through time to get it for free. Mm. Are you saving money or are you wasting your blood, sweat, and tears? Mm. Wow, that's good. Because you're taking your hard-earned time yeah. that you can't get back. Can't get it back. And you're going to sell that time for free information. Is that really the value of your time? Mm. Mm. That's good. I remember I was at an event and I met Myron Golden and he said, you can spend $40,000 and sit with me for two hours and I'll teach you everything that I know. Mm. Or you can buy this book for 40 bucks and it has in there everything I know. Mm. You're free to choose. Mm. When it comes to information, you have to make a decision. If you want it concise, precise, in a format that you can digest it fast, mm or you want to do it free, your fingertips are gonna move faster than I can speak, but what you get mm. 
and a lot of people used to say chat GPT is the best Look, oh, it's a yes. four year old program mm. would you trust your prized possession your super fast mm. car in the hands of a four year old <laughs> yeah wow until you become a prompt engineer and you learn how to get that baby to do exactly as you want, mm -hmm. you're going to end up like the lawyer. Can it prepare? Mm -hmm. He prepared all his cases and the cases were filled with lies and errors. And he presented that in court. I chat GPT that, well, it was wrong. What do you expect to get from a four year old? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was saving a few dollars check. on research. You fact check. <laughs> fact check everything. <laughs> to digress for a second, there's some states that are allowing AI to write police reports. Wow. 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 Mm. If the human was biased to start with, what happens when the human gives the AI an instruction and it writes a report that's unfavorable to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And their argument in court is that AI did it, so they're not liable. liable. Responsible. Wow. But your wow. record is tangible. Mm. Wow. Can you see the problems that's coming out of that situation? Yeah. All right, so let me come back to, I'm a business advisor and I help individuals, corporate executives, companies to create a predictable stream of income that offsets their bills. Mm. In the slow season, specifically for like a restaurant, mm. when sales drop, you wish you had predictable income that you can budget with so that you can ride that season out. Mm. If you are a coach, an author, a consultant, mm -hmm. in order for you to be able to live comfortably, is it better to have an additional stream of predictable income so that...